Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight with another episode of CEO in Pajamas. And here we are. It's a less than optimal session, I gotta say. All right. So far, I mean, you know, all right, that's kind of a high KD ratio right there. Probably a little bit, a little bit of a try hard look there. That that could be, you know, okay, this middle state's a little bit off, but the KD is pretty low. That's, that's a neat look. Like, you know, kind of a. Kind of a jet captain kind of look to the whole thing. Yeah, that's neat. Nothing, nothing too bad there. Okay, mental state's climbing on this one. That could be an issue. It's good. Let's go. Okay. Wow. That's like. Wow. Okay. I'm not sure what the goal. Okay, I'm not even going to comment here. This is just wow. Still, mental state's up there. Do yeah, I think my 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 gut feeling is do the whole find a new session thing before we try to actually sell cargo that we care about. All right, let's see here now where we got this session. I'll pass it up. There we go. Smaller session. Okay. Do do do. Fair enough. Fair enough. An unknown. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. So this is our only wild card. You're coming in or getting out. Nothing looks out of place. Now, I've had it where nothing looks out of place and the next thing you know, you're getting blasted by an oppressor, Mark Q. Matter of fact, I, I wasn't recording. And, uh, interestingly enough, I got taken out by an oppressor. While busy battling NPCs, or even bitterly battling, can I not go into? Where's the CEO? Are I still a CEO? No. <coughs> there can't be enough people in here that. That CEOs are maxed out. Can there? It's not letting me do it. Not letting me activate, you know. Yeah, okay, we have... That's entirely too bad. It's probably a good session, but not if you want to be the CEO. Okay, come on now. Third time's a charm, right? Is this the, the third time? Is it, is it you know... Okay, it's a much bigger session. That can kind of work for me. That's an interesting look. He says, kind of a French underground look for me somehow. I do not know why. Perhaps this is the beret. I'll tell you this only once. Okay. See, the trick about a larger session, besides the getting more bonus money, all right, what's that? Me, acidic player. Okay, he's at least claiming he's an acidic player, but really, the, the thing too, too far gone there is that there's more targets for a for a single, deeply annoyed person to uh, to go after. Raspberry Jam. There you go. Someone's been playing the single player. It's Mr. Raspberry Jam. Okay, so, Elder 90 could be an issue. Yeah, 2.0 KD is kind of high. Mental state's kind of gone wild. Mikey Mozzarella is an unknown. Okay, so that, considering it's been our third shot here, I don't know, I guess we'll just have to take the risk of being taken out by a girl in a half shirt and booty shorts. Okay, flip-flops. Let's give this a shot. Can we, first of all, get into a, uh, yes, we can <coughs> secure our service. No, f no fear AMK. No, who's no fear AMK? Let's see. He's, he's taking people out, but it's not affecting anything. 
not affecting his uh his status his mental status i guess that's not a thing so i guess that mental status is really kind of mediocre resupply activate boom could you sell stock for los santos for the the 210,000, which is about 135 profit. We're all business today. The guns are in an insurgent. Get it to the buyers and your job is done. Okay, so all business today. This is the one that's fully armored. So it's just a driving mission. That's a good thing. I can't shoot. Oh dear, hold on, hold on. Before, because this is going to get really annoying very fast. There we go. Especially with Article 13 passed, we don't want to be broadcasting any sort of music. You know. Can't have that. That would just be in his hair. Well, some stuff's going on there. That, that car, that, that, uh, oh, I think it is a, it's a Ford Edge, whatever the, uh, the vapid, uh, radius. It just, it just strafed to the left to get out of my way. That was interesting. Got a, got an Avenger over on the side here? What are people, what are people doing? Stuff's exploding. Okay, so it's probably a bad session to be doing this kind of stuff in. Bad, bad sessions. Okay, well bad sessions can be interesting. And we are in, a, in an insurgent. We can't fight back. They're kind of expecting you to have somebody on the gun. I'm, as usual, playing solo. Solo, and hopefully nobody notices me. See, that's one of the bonuses about playing in a big session, is everybody might already be busy fighting each other. You just drive around through the explosions. I'm thinking, you know, me is worth it. Now, you know what? I'm going to try and save the 12,000. It's kind of a ghosting organization. Might regret that. Seems like the pinks and the oranges here are going after each other. Alright, we're almost there though. Alright, just that simple. A quick 135k profit. As you see, I'm not really on the high end of money here. I'm trying to get my way back up. Let's get the let's call up a vehicle and get the, the celebratory call. Come on, celebratory call. I want to celebrate, celebrate good times. Come on. Do I dance? Dancing? Looks like you sold out. To the right people, too. Only the good wars being fought with those guns. Promise. Promises, promises. Okay, I've, I've left the Deluxo at home just to fool around a little bit. Here. With this stunt box. Trying to get the, the hang of doing the jump then boost. Whee! It's not going to end well. Ugh. Oh. 
Okay, we have to jump our way off. Did I clip somebody there or did I just scare him? I, I clipped somebody. Ooh. Sorry, that wasn't the goal. Oh dear, it's, it's doing that lag thing again. I'm gonna try and jump over the bridge, but you know. Let's try it. Oop, oop. to our destination. You're no more jumping a boot required. But wow, we're going to have to pause recording for a minute. Why is it doing this? Okay, let's see if this goes in right. I've gone into basement level 2 here, just so I can show you off a couple of things here. I've, I've reorganized it a little bit. It's a little bit more purely, purely Bond super spy themed here. I thought I'd Share that a little bit if it will ever load. Okay, where are all the cars? Where are... I have one car. I have way more. Okay, they're starting to... Wow, would you look at this? I'm, I'm down at like 10 frames per second. I just realized I haven't been recording. Not sure when it stopped recording. But we're on a mission because the entire... The entire server dropped out and we ended up in a solo session. This guy's just running scared. He's kind of in my way. Now he's like racing me. Semi-hostile. Yeah, but now now that the server has blown up and there's nobody else in the session, everything seems pretty clean. I, I wonder if, if it's even my fault that's causing those drugs. Is it internet speed thing? Is it my hardware? Is it their hardware? What is causing that? There's a lot of possibilities. I'm not sure how much of the video I lost. I don't know what I was recording when I did, so we'll have to see what, what shakes out in the edit. Whee! Okay. So as I recall, this is one of those where there's a roadblock. You think I ain't gonna... And roadblocks are fun when you have a 50 cal. Yeah, roadblock. There is much wreckage. Of course, could be low on the bonuses here because, you know. Come on, how far do I have to run here, gang? Just to cash it all in. There we go. Still, we're pushing 2 million now. That's a good thing. Wait for the celebratory call. Celebratory? 
Gee, can you have parked it a little bit further away? All right, well, the buyers got the product and you got the profits. Looks like a successful transaction to me. All right, at least that was very celebratory. Use them as a as an e -break. Okay, now that's happening again. A little bit of a, a stutter there. So, am I having performance issues that are causing me to disconnect from the server? Can we land this? Land it! Almost. So we'll go for that pull. We're gonna land at that. Okay, we'll get that. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need to be excused. Okay. Let's go over the garage again. All right, let's go first person. As you can see again here, the very Britishness of what we have going on here. Of course, we start out, of course, with Bruffy's favorite car, of course. The hateful machine itself. The F620, and one of my approximations of his paint, uh, his paint job is that if the Bruffy 1322 paint job, I'm not entirely certain. It's sunrise over sunset, but we'll we'll see if that's if that's what it is or what it's not. Now this is the newest acquisition, on sale for only only one hundred seventy-five thousand dollars plus upgrades. We've got this thing fully upgraded and painted a very slick silver, a very James Bondy kind of silver. Of course, this is the JB seven hundred, which is very James Bondy. You expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. Yeah, not today. And this, of course, is my James May-inspired Lotus Esprit, the Ardent. Now, here's, here's the weird thing. Here you have a car. Obviously a James Bond car. Has machine guns that are obviously coming out of the fenders. They don't work. They work in the one mission where you get the car and they never work again. They're, they're just there for decoration. Here you have a car, the modern incarnation of the same car, pretty much. Well, no, this is a Lotus and that's a uh, an Aston Martin. But still, this is a, a modern Bondish kind of car. Has much more subtle looking machine guns in the nose. They do work. This one is not competitive with races, but you can race it. This one's very competitive with races, but you can't race it. And there are other vehicles with guns that you can race anyway, so it's it's just all it's all just logic, I guess. It's a, uh. here, of course, we have my uh, official spy hunter. Of all the cars, this one struck me. It has the machine guns. It has the missiles. It's just like the spy hunter games of old. Not the actual car used in the spy hunter game, but still very close, very close. My Rapid GT Classic over here, this is uh, very similar in style and demeanor to um, another Bond car. Was that, was that the Living Daylights? I forget which Bond movie it was. But still, very Bondish. Another Dubachi. Coming back, of course, we have the two cars from uh, The Spy Who Shagged Me, of course. We got like, an old Austin Powers action going on here. I wanted to name this the Shagwar, but 
It wouldn't let me because you can't say shag. That's a naughty word. No, the, the, the people on the street could tell me to go F myself every 35 seconds, but we can't put shag on a license plate. Okay, that makes sense. And, of course, Felicity Shagwell's Corvette pretty much here. We got the, we got the two well represented, I think. Two nice cars, too. This one's a little bit twitchy. A little bit twitchy, but it's, I like it. It's, it's definitely it's something that's there. Now, this one, not directly, directly Bond-inspired. It's actually uh, directly inspired by an actual black Porsche that's uh, owned by one of my good friends. We, we call her Black Beauty, and so this is an homage to, uh, to Ed's Porsche. Hi, Ed. How's everything going? Here's your Porsche. We, we, I put your Porsche in the game. Again, not exactly his Porsche, but... It belongs here because Ed is a huge James Bond fan, of course, you know. And before you say, well, gee, if he's a big James Bond fan, why doesn't he drive a British car? Well, he does own an E-Type as well. This is just... As a matter of fact, if, if this had been the E-Type we'd expect it, I probably would have painted it a nice cream color, and that would have been Ed's representation in game. But no, we've got Black Beauty here instead. So there you have it. And rounding out the kind of the nightclub atmosphere here, you'll notice we've got this, what the heck do they call it? The Fulisade, which is a representation of the Chrysler Crossfire. And this is actually, I think I've described this before, but this is uh, actually a, a car that was once owned by an uncle of mine who's since passed away. But he was a musician and uh, cruised around this for a little while. So I think he traded in on a Dodge Magnum. But... Here's a, a little a little homage to Uncle Butch. So I figured he'd he'd be at the nightclub. There's no question. He'd be probably probably playing. Of course, we have DJs here, but still, it fits. It, it's all good. But this uh, I I bring all this up because this is one of the things I'm trying to do as far as this sale week was get this car, and a couple others which we can pursue, but we'll be pursuing those over with our pal Rusty Jack. Time for a board meeting. Hey there, Rusty. What do you think about, you know, maybe expanding the uh, the vehicular fleet a little bit here? You know, something more to cruise around in when we'll probably send you to do something that you don't want to do. You know, just give you options for all these kind of errands and... Fine, be that way. You're buying the cars anyway. Okay, thank you for the drop. Now we got to just jump out of this. I've already got, like... Forty-two thousand dollars in ill-gotten booty from some dude who tried to dump money on me. That's in another video, someplace. Waiting for Rockstar to come and reap the ill-gotten booty from my account. So we'll we'll, we'll jump out of this and go right into a uh, a closed session. I have no need, no need of a public session right now. Sometimes when you swap characters, and you, and you know, it'll... well, let's see, I was, I was thinking I was in a closed session, I was in an open session, I was in an empty open session, so, whoa! It's LJT. First thing in the morning, LJT, I, I don't need that. What are my new daily objectives? Rally race, that's never gonna, no, okay. No one rally races. Let's get into... Closed session. Ah, yes, the closed crew session. Something where I don't have to worry about people popping in. Oh, here you go. That's that's another thing that's going on. I do not have enough money to pursue that right at the moment. But we'll talk. Don't have to worry about being blown up over much either. All right, we've unlocked the fake Didier Sachs t-shirt. Actually calling it a fake t-shirt. That, that's interesting and creative. Maybe we'll take a look at what the fake Didier said. I wonder if it's got like some kind of abused logo. All the logos are really quote unquote fake. Although when we play a game, don't we accept that it's reality? Isn't that the, the whole joy of the thing? Alright, let's get down from altitude here. Almost there. 
park this over here. And let's head on in. Okay, you're, yeah, let's go in the... Uh, let's go basement level 2. Now I'm picking basement level 2 for a reason. First of all, it's got lots of parking. And it has probably my fastest cut, uh, you know, sports classic. You know, this here, the good old Supra. Completely misnamed. It's the Dinka Jester. This isn't a Dinka Jester. It's just, uh, well, you know, I mean, that's just neither here nor there. But still, if I were to suddenly find myself in a sports classic race, not that that ever happens, this would uh, this would hold its own for the most part, but not the fastest thing you can have. It's the fastest thing I have, but probably not the fastest thing you can have. And one of the things that's on sale for quite quite the deal is this, of course. Look at this. Normally seven hundred and five thousand half price, ladies and gentlemen. Roughly here we got three hundred and fifty-two thousand five hundred. The Turismo Classic. And if you you follow Bruffy thirteen twenty two, you know that this is one of the best cars if you find yourself in a sports classic race. That and the Cheetah. I was gonna get him a Cheetah. Because I have a Turismo Classic over my other character, but this is fifty percent off. And that can't hurt. I was gonna do it in orange. Should we do it in orange for me? Orange is his thing. They're almost all red, really in real but hey, listen. Maybe we can have him funk this one up. We'll, 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 you know, we can either do it as a purple one in the long run. And we're going to put it right here. Nightclub Garage B2. And while we're at it, let's scroll down. Check out the Canis Free Crawler. I mean, 298,000. Yes, is it the fastest, the best, the anything, you know, exceptionally wonderful? Do some people even think it's pretty? Some think it's not. But it's a thing. It's completely a thing. And for 300000 I mean, you know, again, half price. Let's drop that in here, too. I might move that one up to, um, up to my apartment. Up in uh, Palito Bay. Apartment up to the house in Polito, up to the Polito Bay house, for the simple reason that you know there, you have better access up that way to a lot more off-road sort of situations. Let's do the time warp again. While we're waiting, I really should reiterate that you know I picked orange because. I was really planning, and still do have, kind of, you know, Rusty based largely out of the northern parts of the map, which I associate with Trevor. And that kind of, you know, the, he's he's the orange guy. The, you know, the red is more red-orange, really, as far as his vehicles and shades in the game when you're playing single player. And it says it's here. Aha! Look at that. It's so low and so sleek, you couldn't even see it. Very good. That's a very nice purchase. One of the other things that is on sale right now. How much money do we have? We're down to 1.3. Let we can rev this up. We can we can get this ready to roll. Don't say. How are you doing? Okay, it's uh, that was the uh, the don't uh, don't say anything. I don't know you. I may know you. If I didn't know you, why am I calling you to get into a business with you? Obviously, I know you. One of the other things that's on sale this week is a lot of the vehicular upgrades. Not all of them, but a bunch of them. And a bunch of the pricey ones. So let's get this thing set up to race.
There, that looks better. Now that's gangster. Bumpers. See, I don't, I don't know that we're going to change much here. Stock front bumper. Lightweight. Classic. The race looks pretty good. I don't want to affect the clearance, really. Well, I think we'll go with the... Should we go with carbon? I don't think we're going with carbon. All about making a statement. So there's no rear bumper options. Engine tunes. Tune it up. Engine block. Yeah, let's go primary. Exhaust. Carbon tips. It's a racer. We're gonna we'll go wide. Hood. Ooh, we can stripe it up. I think I usually go with like the triple. With the racer hood. Lights, we'll leave the lights. See, we'll, we'll, put, we'll put the head, we'll change them to Xeons. We're gonna save. I don't think the, the neon kits are on sale. Maybe. Why not? Plates. We're gonna see you later. Alligator. Respray. Now, we got some options here, but. I would go purple with this. Because purple, I go with either orange or purple, because orange is what I always kind of associate with, with the character, especially since his name is Rusty Jack, you know, a rusty orange kind of thing. Purple is kind of the opposite side of the color wheel to orange, so it kind of goes with it, even though it's a completely different sort of thing. Of sunrise orange, plus a little interesting tit. Plus one little interesting tidbit. Usually, I, I know this from reading uh, Scott Adams. Orange is one of those colors that people are quickest to engage with. So if you have orange, people will respond to it well. I could do a bruffy orange if I really wanted to. Gold kind of looks nice though. That does look good. But if it's going to appear in a race, I don't want to have like a flat orange color though. Like I have a lot of those. You do a midnight purple with orange over it. Would that be too bruffy? I'm not trying to rip bruffy off. We could do midnight blue. Midnight blue is very susceptible to uh, to pearlescence. Let's try that. It's cheap enough to try it if we don't like it. Come on, where is the oranges? So there's bright orange. Which turns it kind of a there you go. You know, I think the colors are a little bit too clashy. It's not it's not working. They're not working together. So we have to go back to metallic. Like it's sucking too much of the orange out of it. And can we go with like a sienna brown and then orange over the top of that to give it a slightly different orange? Lessened. See, that one's not really responding. 
to the... Okay, there you go. Yeah. No. I don't feel like midnight purple is going to work either. Or orange. I think it's going to suck too much of the orange out of it. It's going to be a murky looking car. With sunrise orange with yellow over the top. Another citrus mobile. Do sunset red with yellow over the top, which was another theory that I had about how you mix bruffy orange, because he's never really revealed it. You know, because that was that was my initial theory on Bruffy Orange was the sunrise over sunset because that was a logical thing. But if we do race yellow over it, that looks like has kind of a the same look too, only more so. Do we want to go there? That looks a little garish. And the end result, I just went with orange with a sunrise orange over the top. What do you think? Or just regular orange. Yeah, sunrise orange. Secondary color. Chrome? No. You know what? I think we'll leave the secondary as it is. That kind of looks... I guess we can just make it orange. There's not enough... There's not enough secondary in this thing. Unless we put a secondary wing. We could put a secondary wing on it. I'll bet you. Trim color. Might as well match it up, right? Sun strips. Oh, there we go. A secondary sun strip would tie things nicely together. Skirts. Secondary skirts. Spoiler. Secondary color spoiler. This is great. Primary color spoiler. No traction boost. Actually, it doesn't look like it's giving any traction boost for any of them. None. Okay, so the stock spoiler gives you something. None will take away. I think we'll go secondary. I think that's a change to this car, because I don't think that's how it used to be. That's gonna shift so smooth now. So you got the sails and the turbo and the transmission, wheels. Now normally with these things I'd leave them stock. I might leave these stock. Now the trick of the matter is for really optimal racing. Wheel type. I don't know if this has tires can clip or not. But I know we can pretty much match the match the Beautiful. rim type. LS custom style. Wheel color, we're gonna go with a We could just match up the oranges. See, if I go with the, the normal kind of you know, toothpaste or the dark blue with it, that won't really match up all that well. So we have to almost go something like that just to pull, pull in the... Uh... What are our options? Midnight purple kind of works, but it kind of doesn't. 
You could leave them alloy so it looks almost stock. Tires. Tire design, customs. Bulletproofs. Tire smoke orange. So this is a very orangey car. As a matter of fact, For nine hundred and eighteen dollars, why not? We're below a million, but it is what it is. Leave the windows as it is. Just in case you get stuck in a race where you have to actually look out the window, someone locks at the first person. So now I'm truly set. If by some weird situation I find myself in a sports classic race. I got the car with the mojo. These are nice to drive, too. Unless you're doing something creative like that. And put that back in the basement level, too. Now, by the time we get back here, our free crawler should be back. There we go. And this is something that I can see myself. Taking up the, uh... You've forgotten about the cars I requested. My friend, please. This is no good. I did not forget about the car you requested. I just don't care. Now this doesn't tell you what. This doesn't feel slow. It's certainly not a, you know, a Turismo Classic, but... Let's... Let's work it up a little bit further. That'll do it. And we'll you just get with the tank, my friend. Deflectors. You put a, a deflector on the thing. You know, I'm not really planning on, on customizing the look on this all too much just yet. Give you a bit more power. There's not a lot of difference there. We're gonna let that go. Might as well. I said I wasn't gonna customize the front too much. Library. Okay, as libraries. All kinds of libraries, the Viceroy, <laughs> Lifeguard. No, we're not gonna not spend the money. It's cheaper, but we're still not. I don't know what I want here. None of that's really calling to me. It's like want it to be orange. Mudguards. Yeah, the mudguards work. Plate. Originally, that was just for um, just for a hearse that I'd gotten. Rear panel. Can't let it go for right now. Respray. We don't need to do anything really just yet. Sidestep. You know, I think you get more clearance without it. Let's just leave that off. Snorkels. Basic snorkel. Box snorkel. So box snorkel. Trans, that's on sale, I think. Not turbo definitely is. You wait till that kicks in. Wheels, we just want to make sure that they're uh, they're bulletproof. You'd be surprised how many of those we sell. Down to seven hundred, almost eight hundred K again. Now, check this out. You look inside. This looks pretty upscale. All right, it kind of looks like it has some cheap plastic going in the doors. But I mean, you know, still. Got a CD player. And a tape deck. 
Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Got the got the triple knobs on the AC. Yeah, we're we're we're, we're rolling. This this could be this could be a good daily driver. This could be something that you you could cruise around in all the time. Where can I where can I test it though? Listen. See that? I can't put shag on the thing, but the guy can call me all kinds of stuff. Woo! Hi. See now that's that's pretty that's pretty snazzy. Can we climb over that? Well, no. That's there's a lip. I mean, you can't. Yeah, you can't ask it to do too much. LJT. No, you I don't care, LJT. I don't want to know, LJT. Your businesses are painful, LJT. Woo! Okay. Whoa, check that out. It was right over. The we'll do that all day long. That is impressive. That's impressive. He'll almost do it. He will almost go over that. Sweet Jesus. He'll do it. What the fuck? Film shit. Yeah, seriously, film it. Hey, it's your friend Simeon. You forget about me. Come, call me when you need something. Okay, so we can't do just about. It. Whoa, come on, We're going just straight up into the. Well, I have to say, it's definitely capable. Okay, you know what? Let's let's switch out and see what, if anything, we have going up up in Palato Bay. Dooby dooby doo, dooby doo dooby. Let's see. Are we gonna? Now this is it. What I was talking about before. I went from a closed session, went to find a new session. Does it put me in another closed session? Now this has got all kinds of stuff going on. Chuck Glorious. That's interesting. So we got that's wow. Wow. Wild stuff going on here. Let's see, fifty-four. A little bit off on the mental state there. That's... But again, we've we've noticed that people killing each other doesn't seem to affect your mental state. So really, not that we're playing any business maneuvers here, but you know. Let's see, let's go out this way. Out. Do we have any room? I don't think we do. I think I have to drive one of these down somewhere. No, we do have room. And a huge spike in the leg, but there's more than enough room. This will be good. I've got my original, original Sand King. That I, you know, use for hunting Sand Kings. We've got, you know... A rusty rebel. This will work perfectly. This will feel right at home here. Let's go. I got some walk outside. Make the phone call. Let's see mechanic. What you need, boss? Some wheels? I can bring them around. I'll bring it by. And uh, we wait. Anybody around me? Not really. Wonder what the time trial is.
again, not I haven't duded this up really much. I feel, you know, let's go pull it in here. So it has a new home. And this would be my, my you know, as far as, you know, these cars are, right, you could take the truck. The truck is all nice and shiny and it's ready to go. I have some two kicking around cars and obviously one for doing almost anything. For going off road, for going to church. Of course, the only thing you can race in off-roads really is an off-road racer. Let's see what we can find here. Yes, am I really going to try and take a free crawler on a uh, speed run? Maybe. Depends on what I have to do with it. Okay, so it, it does crash into something. Let's see. I have a feeling we could take a railroad shortcut here. I have no idea what this time trial is going to take. Sawmill. Okay, well, obviously that's not, that's taking us into a wall. Let's, let's restart the time trial. Which way is that going to be? I guess what we should do. Start the time trial. Wow. All right, I'm not even interested in that. Now that's that's too long a run there. We are not anything fast enough to do that. Let's let's start over. But you know what we can do? We can see. I was hoping it would be something really off-road because it seemed like it was starting from an off-road point. But you know what we can do here, folks? Let's see if we can get this thing to the top of Chilean. Should have no trouble, right? Oh yeah, look at this thing go. Wow. Do I have a parachute? I'm not planning on jumping, but... Oh, look, it's that whole compound thing. Now, let's see. Let's get it up there. Or is it up there? That's it. There's Chiliad. Chiliad. I'm not taking a proper Fred approach here, I don't think. Woo -wee -woo. Can we get down to... I see it. Yes, we can take the uh, a proper Fred approach and see how it does fretting it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, obviously you don't watch Ruffy 1322's other videos. No, you, gotta, you gotta get down with the defense. Oh, it's a little bit lagged down here. That's interesting. It's got the traction, but does it have the power? You need both. This tall Yoin okay, is just killing everybody. And then left. I guess we should be happy. Whoa, did you see that? Whoa, whoa! It just suddenly... Okay, we got... We're having a Chiliad disaster in a free crawler. I mean, come on. People do these things in 
and felters and stuff. Stratums. Very good. That's what we expect. It doesn't go up very fast in places, but it does seem to be down on power compared to the support star, but traction, I mean, the grip is right there. It is a little bouncy, which is kind of what you want. Oh yeah. So this would definitely be an excellent G Fred card. I don't know if it would have the okay, well you we first down I completely botched the descent. Come on. <coughs> the goal here is we have to but if you, if you did botch the descent. Could you get back? Kind of high, we're kind of stuck at that. I mean, we could just go down the mountain. I'm not worried about that. I want to take the proper approach down the mountain. It does recover well. I mean, look at this. This is, I like this car. Now, let's see, where is the proper place to? I guess we could, it's a little bit early to launch it off into space here. Getting a little beat up. It's dancing. Stay on its feet, though. I'm not sure this is where we want to go. But we're getting where we need to be. The, tr the railroad tracks. All right. Okay, I'm not going to do the full... Oh, and there's the train. Woo! No, I wasn't going to try to head on with the train. I like this car. <laughs> I, I'm enjoying this. I Maybe it just looks silly, but it feels very capable. I feel like it, it might even be a little bit better off-road than... Uh, I don't know what you're gonna call it. This turbo jeep, the machismo, what the hell is it? You piece of shit. The macho man thingy. Okay, we're a little worse for wear. I guess the only thing to do is to test the snorkel. I don't want to test the snorkel. I don't think the snorkel's going to buy as much. Those are really for dust anyway. We'll touch it a little bit more. Just a little bit, not too much. Can we go straight back up this? Almost. Come on. Let's rock climb. Right approach. Okay, that's kind of a lot to ask. Although, you know, people do that kind of stuff. Very capable. I like it. But it has been a bit of a departure for a CEO in pajamas kind of thing. Tell you what, let's send this guy home.
board meeting. All right, Jack. Everything adequate there? Did everything work out well? Eh. He's happy. I know he's happy. So the question is, have I killed enough time to do another Chumash Bunker Run? That's the question. Or will we simply be stuck in the cloud for all time, clouding away our minds clouded? Okay, here we go. Back to the bunker. Are we at 140? Not even, we didn't dent it. Impressive, most impressive. Well, folks, on that note, I think it's probably been a long enough video. You think? I was considering trying a, a Madrazo mission when they come up. But that's, you know, they just... I don't feel like being an assassin in this game. I want to be a CEO, you know? I realize that I do stuff that, you know, is assassin-y. Maybe we could... How you doing? Eh. Exit the bunker. Tell you what, let's go get the Luxo. Maybe we'll try one. That's too much. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Not again. You have the X and E, so you have the buttons that you have to, to hit. And we're almost home. Check this out. Oh dear! Oof. Did you get up? She did not get up. I am terribly sorry. You know, this thing is just entirely too wild. She isn't, she isn't like bleeding to death though. So maybe she's, maybe she's just taking a nap. I'm sure that's just it. That's just, just a nap. That's all that is. The ambulance will come and revive her. Oh, well, I'll be good. It's fine. It's all fine. And put it back in two. I still think that if they had fitted this with one of the saw blades or one of the, you know, one of the thing kind of things they have from the Arena Wars, that would have been awesome. Now, GTA Men says you can knock these missions out with a Deluxo or an Oppressor, and I prefer the Deluxo. Let's see. Are there any up? You have to wait for the text. Or go just go to job. Oh, there, go to jobs. Play jobs. Rockstar created. I wonder what 
happens if we just call him? Hello. Can I help? Sure, my friend. I'll send you the details. It's had a previously completed job. Pick him up at the airport and travel with him to the desert airfield. Well, that should be good. Let's try this. Try it on hard. These Mary Weather, they kill who they please. Life and death, the ultimate deregulation. Someone has contract contracted them to go after an associate of mine. He needs to get back to Mexico where they, there are laws against this madness. Pick him up at the airport and travel with him to the desert airfield where we have a plane waiting. There's some aid in my lockup if you need. Okay, I don't think we need any aid. We're gonna try to solo this. I didn't even notice this was double money. It just is what it is. Okay, where's my car? There it is. Get in a helicopter. Well, just just curious. Does it have to be their helicopter? Yeah, I don't have access to, uh... I don't have access to my helicopters. Maybe it's a really good helicopter. It's all the way up there. Why is the helicopter all the way over there if I have to pick him up at the air? You know, we should try. Doesn't look like we have a timeline. That's a mission point. I'm getting in any helicopter right now. Work. Let's just get the get in their helicopter. Now, why I need to get in a helicopter when I have this perfectly good Deluxo? I don't know. Now, there's a good bet this is just a regular contact mission, not one of the assassination missions here. You know, so that's just a thing. But we'll do it. What the heck? It's it's money. If it is a regular contact mission, then it's probably not a bad idea just to drive all the way out here, drive all the way back there, and drive. Because you will get more money uh, if you take more time. Get in a helicopter. Are they armed helicopters? A couple of them. Oh, good. The buzzards. I can work with that. Set for missiles. Obviously, we're expecting to blow some stuff up. I can get down with that. Alright, let's roll in here. I want to put this down relatively easy. Okay, 
Okay. Oh, it's an escort mission. Oh, this will suck. I hate escort missions. Because he can just do something radically stupid and then, you know, get himself killed. What's going on? And the missiles aren't cracking. Okay, so we got one. Splash one. Splash two. Oh, they're using bullets. I'm using missiles. Splash three. I'm kind of not worried about the one behind us. I think we'll outpace that one. There's two up ahead. My altitude are really okay. We don't have visual on them yet. There they are. Okay, now we got multiple bogeys. But then again, the one again, the ones behind us might not be the bigger better deal. Let's, let's see. Let's drop down to his level, because we'll be going for him. I feel like I'm driving him this guy to the ground. Okay. That guy's kind of stuck behind. But that's the last one. It's tracking. So we've got friendly skies now. This isn't a bad mission. It's kind of fun. Now the, the key is don't crash into the person you're escorting. Oh, right. oh here we are. So he's probably landing. There you go. Do I have to actually land two? That might be a thing. Put it down right on the edge. Mission passed. Do we get any monies? 15 grand, that's not bad. I don't think it's a double money deal, though. So what are the Madrazo missions? Those, those special assassination mission kind of things. 
<laughs> yeah, this is a regular contact mission. Tempted to do blow up three just to make the cashola on it. Well, let's dump out of here. So, if you if you want to do a Madrazo special double money, you know, assassination mission, calling him isn't gonna get you that. That that's not gonna work. And here we are. Whoa! And we've got a jet. I rarely jet out, but since my car is, is my car right over there. Yeah, heck with it. There's nowhere to land back where I need to get, you know? Or am I wrong? Oh, well, my car's right there, yeah. Much easier to land. That's the double RP kind of thing. Dispatch 6. Let's try it. And this will be the last thing I do in this video, I believe. Ah, uh, but we need another player. Players one of two to four. That's the problem with them. All right, they're just great, but you need a buddy. And I said that was gonna be the last thing I did, and you know what? That is the last thing we're gonna do. Let's see, where can we have a, a nice kind of send-off pose sort of thing? I got an idea. I don't lose all my frame rate. Almost. I think we can do this. Okay, this will be the last thing we do. Try to set it in the dish. Set it in a dish. Do a different approach. gonna fall out of the dish. Now if we park it. <laughs> there you go. Come on, what kind of a selfie can we get going here? It's a little too close. We have to back up. There we are. Perfect. And on this note, hope you've enjoyed this video. This is your Black Knight. Have a great night.